Right, Zundap KS600 bearings this time um, for crank, camshaft, generator. Right, let's start over at the start with biggest first. Um, 62808 goes on this one. Is it FAG 628ZR? You struggle to find the ZRs anymore. Um, however, I happen to track down a whole box here was quite lucky for the bargain price of 15 quid all brand spanking new and sealed uh, so we've got all those um so the zr uh, it's 6208 z's fine it's just a single metal shield on the back there so that's that one for their standard ball bearing right on this side we've got the nu207 or i'm using an nj here and i've got steel type standard this is enhanced steel and i've got the polyamide uh, the TVP2 version. Now I'm using an NJ rather than an NU. Um, the difference being the NU collar, like this, goes all the way through. The ring, the inner ring goes all the way through. And the NJ has got a lip on it. Um, here we go. See it's got a slight lip on it there. Um, so once this is uh, stuck on here, and, and I, I, I look quite like that because it's um, it just gives an extra bit of end float protection. So that's what I'm running on that one. I don't think I have any problems with it. I'm pretty sure that's what I put on the other one, but that's what I'm intending to do here. If not, you can go for the standard uh, 2 end u 207 Right, on the tail end of this one, you then have goes through the generator, uh, into the generator housing, which over here you have the N205 ECM. Uh, it's actually a C3 clearance so that you can plop it in and out. There we go. Makes sense. Let's just plop in there without any problem. There we go. Pop that back out. Um, and it's got the, the M obviously refers to machine brass outside ring. Now, uh, personally, I think the M series, one, they're really expensive, as in proper expensive, and two, I don't really see the need for it, to be honest, but um, I don't think you'd have a problem with a TVP2 or just a standard one in that one. Uh, if it's of interest, I've got um, a TVP2 running in one of my engines already, and as long as you keep the, end, the oil scrupulously clean, um, you think you've got a decent filter in there, and I've got a magnet as well, you shouldn't have any issues with this at all. Um, but it's, again, it's down to personal preference. Right, um, then up over here... We've got an NU series for the camshaft, the bigger end of the camshaft, um, with a removable inner ring, of course, being an NU. Again, this is a C3 clearance because this one is a standard one, which I bought by mistake, and of course it doesn't fit on there, which is a bit annoying. Obviously, you take out the inner ring to use that part and slide it on. Um, so that one is an NU205C3. And down at this end, We've got um, it's bring up um, NU202W. This one is just to ignore the W. It's an NSK marking for a bog standard bearing. And um, again, this one is a I think it's no, this is not a C3, but it does seem to slide on, so it's probably a bit of wear on there. Um, but the more important thing on this is to note that the, this is the one that came out here, and this is the newer version. You wouldn't have to be Einstein to see there's a slight difference. Um, so you're going to require some 0.5 mil shims to go either side, just so that when you put it back in the engine case, it sits like that and is then held in properly by the C-clip. Um, and then we'll quickly skip on to the pinion while we're here. The pinion is this rare beast which you'll struggle to find this anywhere without paying an absolute arm and a leg for it. It's an N303 ECM C3 clearance. Um, and these just don't seem to be common bearings at all. Um, you can order them, they're usually about 80 to 140 quid, something like that, so it's a fair amount of money. Um, and then quickly whip back again to the um, large crank bearing and the oil seal. So when you take it apart, you've got the metal oil seal. Uh, you can just shove in a standard, this is a double lip, uh, 50, there it is, I'll give you the mark, 
507212 fits in there a treat um, so you can use one of those obviously with the Z on the one side here and the double lip oil so you have no oil coming through from the engine towards the clutch housing which is fine particularly more important if you're going to be using a dry clutch setup which most people will if they want a nice smooth gear change or a smoother gear change um, I think that's about it for this one